Hello, hi guys, it's Enam here with the Samsung Galaxy S7. I'm going to show you how you can pin apps on this device. Now, this is Samsung's take on pin apps from Google. Now, if you want to do this and you're going to be wondering, why, why would I want to pin apps in them? Well, say if you want to give your phone to someone else to use a particular application, but you don't want them snooping around elsewhere. This is a great way of limiting what they can see just inside that application. So go to your settings, go down to lock screen and security, scroll down again until you get to other security settings. Scroll down again until you get to pin windows. As I say, pin windows is Samsung's take on pin apps from Google. So this will work on other devices, but it will be called pin apps. As I say, if it's a non Samsung device, head into pin windows on this device and hit that slider. Now I'm going to say that you also hit the slider for ask pin before unpinning and I'll explain why shortly. So now that you've enabled the feature, this is what you do. Go to your recent apps and you'll notice amongst the most recent one, there's a little pin in the corner and this will set this application as the pinned window or pinned app as Google calls it. So I want to pin say Instagram. So I'll bring that to the foreground, hit the pin or the most recent applications window and the pin now jumps to Instagram. So I'm going to pin this and we get a little window here saying this function allows you to pin an app on your device screen so that you cannot navigate away from it. As I said, while an app is pinned, notifications from other apps will be blocked. So all messaging will be blocked, no phone calls, nothing will come through, only what you have on the screen. Absolutely awesome. So hit start. So this app is now pinned. So I can navigate within it. Uh, I can uh, check out likes and stuff like that. Uh, but I cannot, if I press the home button, it does nothing and it says press and hold the recent key to unpin. Pressing back does nothing, it just goes back within the application. And the only way that you could possibly come out of this is by restarting the device. But again, that will trigger whatever your unlock screen security settings are, pin or fingerprint or whatever. So the only way you can come out of this is by pressing recent apps. And this is why I said you enable a pin, because if you didn't have the pin enabled, this will just simply allow the rest of the phone to be opened up so you could snoop around. So if you enable that pin windows feature, allowing the pin to be used or the security setting, it then prompts you to use your fingerprint or pin, whichever you have set. So how cool is that? It comes in handy if you want to pass your phone to someone and you don't want them snooping around seeing what messages you have or what's in your gallery and such like. And incidentally, check me out on Instagram at inamka4 for some weird and wonderful photos from various devices. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comments section down below. Please like, subscribe and tag along on social media at inamka4. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And I'll see you next time.